Hello everyone, here we are again. This time it's tutorial number 27 and I'm Robin, you're the Sudoku guy. So today our tutorial is going to be covering getting rid of small numbers. Now, once again, if you've gone through all the things that you could learn off before and look for and you can't find anything more and you get stuck, you need to put in all these little numbers uh, possible numbers which I've already done this is not a real puzzle it's a scenario and uh, we're going to see you see I've done it here and I've done it over here and we're going to see what you can do in terms of tricks to get rid of those little numbers because the more you can get rid of the better so let's start off with looking at uh, this block here in this block we've got a matching pair because we, all, we already know that if you've got two empty cells, it becomes a matching pair. Once you've got that matching pair, you can then look along the row. But before I even do something about that, you may notice, and this is something that uh, I quite often forget to look for, you look along the whole row and you see that there's only one three. There it is. If that's the case, you don't need to go to the trouble to put all these other little numbers in. Uh, you, you can get rid of them all and just put the three in. But let's say you forgot or you didn't see that. And that can happen. I'm going to show you how you can still get that to become a three. Okay, so let's now go back to the matching pair here. And means this matching, this matching pair means that you can get rid of any one and seven all the way along here in this row. So I'm going to put a cross over the ones that we can eliminate or get rid of or erase. Here we are, there's one there, here's a one, here's a one, and here's a one, and here's a one. Now you've probably seen already something that's happened. It's ex quite exciting, but let me push on. We, we were doing this first. The seven, we can get rid of the sevens in along this here as well, so we can get rid of this seven, and that seven, and that seven. Now, once we've done that process, We've discovered now we have a matching pair over here. Now that matching pair simply means this, that you can uh, get rid of any four or five along here, and you can all get rid of also get rid of any four or five in here, part of that block. Let's go along here first. Four and five can be eliminated. Here's a five, we can get rid of that five. Here's a four and a five, we can get rid of that five. Okay. Um, and uh, here's a four, we can get rid of that four. So we've got rid of the fours and fives in here, so you're left with a two six and a two six. Ooh, here's another little trick. If you're left with a two six and a two six, whatever is in here cannot be a six, so we can get rid of the six, uh, and we can get rid of the two in here. Because if you have a matching two six, two six, pair you can get rid of uh, the two six in here so you're left with a three so we could now simply uh, eliminate all of that and put in our three so there's two ways of getting that three so there's a couple little tricks in there to, to, to know of now we did the four and five in here can you see there's a two six in here let's just just get rid of all of everything that we've cut out and you'll see that there's a 2-6 matching pair. And that often happens in the tough puzzles. It really does. Uh, we'll get rid of this one and the four. Get rid of all of the things there. And you're left with a 2-6 matching pair. Well, that was neat. And that often happens in, in, in the more difficult puzzles. You, you eliminate and eliminate and then suddenly you're left with a matching pair. Now, I, you probably know that I put a little line underneath uh, just to remind me that they're a matching pair, but it's up to you. Now, we can also get rid of this one because we, we cleaned it up and we see it much better. Now, we've got rid of the fours and fives along here. Now, we can get rid of the fours and fives in this block. So, we can get rid of this, this five here. We'll do the fours first. Fours, chronologically. Those two fours can go, and these two fives can go. Because you can't, once you've got a four and a five committed up there, you can get rid of all those other ones. So now we're left with an interesting situation. And again, 
uh, you may not have realized but that there's, a, there's another place where only a three can go. If you notice now in this block, there's this three, there's only one place where a three can go. So that means we can erase all this and put it there like that. Now, if you, if we'd have put that three in, we could have also got this three by the fact that you've got middle, top, bottom. So there's different ways of solving it. But here we have, we have now have a three there. So all that happened because we knew how to eliminate small numbers. Now in our next exercise, we've got some more work in this type of elimination. So that's it for today. Bye for now.